My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 Nonprofit. We're a highest good for all organization, and we are facilitating change for those that want it. The way that we're doing that is through open source and free shared tools, tutorials, resources, blueprints, and do-it-yourself instructions for comprehensive and highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. Creating everything that we do so that it can be implemented as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration communities, villages, and cities to be built around the world. Solution models that create additional solution creating models. Self-sufficient, self-sustainable, and self-replicating in that they're designed to teach others how to build these things too. And the reason why we're doing this is because we believe that if we make it easy enough, if we make it affordable enough, and if we can demonstrate it as attractive enough, that's what will make it self-replicating. That's what will cause this model and these all these different elements to spread around the world in hundreds of different iterations, improving life positively and permanently, transforming the planet for everyone. And this is what we're here to do. And this is our weekly progress update. This is our weekly progress update number 47, and it covers our progress for the week of January 13th, 2014. If you'd like to see details, if you'd like to have uh, easy links to everything that I'm talking about, visit our blog, check that out, and you can see additional pictures and everything that I'm covering right here. And as always, if everything that I'm about to talk about is exciting to you, if it's in inspirational to you, if it's something that you'd like to be a part of, uh, we're an open source, free shared, all volunteer organization. We're always looking for people that'd like to join our team get involved in world change, become a part of being the change that we wish to see in the world, making a difference, and creating amazing stuff. This last week, the core team, which is the Pioneer and Satellite members, finished the Matter and Materials Lesson Plan Mind Map. This is the third lesson plan uh, mind map that we have completed. The other two web pages are up on the website. Those two lesson plans are teaching everything, all subjects, to all ages in the context of time and teaching all subjects and all ages uh, within the context or the theme of relative and dimensional space. And so now we've got over 30 other lesson plans that we still need to complete and we would love help on that. If you're somebody that would like to help us do that, we've got them all outlined and uh, we're just gonna continue chugging through these. Also in this last week, we are now 50% done with the values image research. And uh, with a little bit of luck, we hope to finish the rest of this week or next week at the latest. And uh, last but not least, uh, this last week we got up a new page. We've started a strategies for memorizing and remembering page which is part of the knowledge and wisdom curriculum. And we invite anybody who has any great uh, resources to add to that, any open source free shared resources for memorizing and remembering, please send those to us. We would love to add those to that archive and create a better uh, usable resource page. And last but not least, uh, if anybody's interested, we'd love help putting together the social sciences molecule, which when complete will look like the completed math molecule, which looks like this. This last week in Highest Good Food, the core team finished the research and image formatting behind the scenes for the final 50 food forest plants. Uh, check out the food forest page already has a couple hundred plants already researched and completed there as well as uh, 90 different places where you can purchase all the plant material that's listed. And so these 50 final food forest plants were in addition to the couple hundred that we already have on there, just kind of wrapping up that page. Also this last week, uh, the Highest Good Food open source portal, which has been under redesign for a couple weeks now, it's 90% done. So if you go to the website, it's still not updated quite yet, but this week it will be finalized on there. And so you'll be able to see that new design. Here's some pictures of what it looks like behind the scenes on our staging page. Also, um, we've finished behind the scenes our food infrastructure heating and cooling 
plan of action. So the foundational plan of action for heating and cooling of all these different structures that goes beyond the passive solar. Uh, a couple other things that we finished. So the food infrastructure 3D is progressing in SketchUp where we've added rock aesthetics by the pond, plant overhang details, Y plumbing fixtures, and uh, correct three inch media bed piping, all with the help of Avery Ellis of Integrated Aquaponics. He's our primary consultant on these aquaponic systems. And also uh, Zdenek Zurich has finished roof design number two for the large scale aquapini, which will be the same roof design. We're gonna use the same roof design for all of the food infrastructure um, elements. And so he's doing all the engineering calculations on that. We do have another roof design that we're looking at. So this is number two. We've got a third roof design that we're considering right now. And we're just doing uh, calculations as far as uh, passive solar gain and heat retention based on the R values of the roof, to the different roof design to see how that's gonna hold up to the current roof design. Now we actually have a fourth roof design that we've discussed already this week as well. And so we're comparing these other two because we think a monoplane roof is going to work for us. It'll it'll be a lot easier to build. Um, it'll be a lot cheaper to build, and uh, a lot easier for people to duplicate. And last but not least, uh, our consultant Guy Fraser uh, it continues to work on the food software. So the global food software, and um, we're seeking programmers and online plant resources. So if you're somebody that is either a programmer or has access to online plant resources or existing chemical nutritional taxonomies or categorization schemes, this is an open call for that information. And no matter when you're watching this video, send that stuff to us because we want to make a plant resource that is really, really for, for the layman but contains a level of technical data that, um, that far surpasses like what Wikipedia is shooting for, that kind of detail. And we want to create an, an open source platform for people to uh, evolve all of that. So if you have information, by all means, um, please send that to us specifically online, open source, free shared online plant resources and existing chemical and nutritional taxonomies or categorization schemes. Those are the two things that we're looking for. This last week in Highest Good Housing, the core team, which this actually overflows a little bit into Highest Good Food, also finished adding the metric details to the whole website. So uh, now we have the US system and the metric system that pretty much the rest of the world uses all in there to make it more user friendly. Also, uh, partner, our partner Devin Porter finished the hands in 3D for the Tropical Atrium, which is ridiculously exciting. I am doing the happy dance. And uh, this has probably been one of the most challenging aspects of our 3D work thus far. And you can see what that looks like now. Next, we're going to be adding in all of the different terraces that collect, connect the fingers and turn that 30 degree slope into a usable, plantable, artistic structure that also grows lots of food and maximizes use of sunlight in this structure. And then we're going to start working on the rest of the Earth Bag Village. So the inner circle is done, and now we need to add in the outer circle, which will complete the 67 units of the Earth Bag Village, which is, uh, you know, purposed for maximum affordability in sustainable design. Also, Philip Gill produced the basics of the second furniture design. Here's the first, and here's what the beginnings of the second one are starting to look like. And so these are different furniture designs that will go inside of these structures. Uh, additionally, Dave Wallen finished the final tweaks and additions to the basics of Pod 2, the Straw Bale Village. Uh, pod 1 is the, the Earth Bag Village is maximally affordable sustainable housing, and the Straw Bale Village is maximally and modularly expandable sustainable housing. And so these are the final tweaks that have been added into that, showing the CAD evolving now, and so we're working on 3D on that. Also, Victor Herber has begun working on the vermiculture toilet designs, which is a part of the Earth Bag Village. Uh, here's a picture of his initial sketches on that. So we've been having meetings and evolving all of that. And so, um, yeah, a lot of movement in highest good housing. A couple areas we're looking for help. Right now we are seeking a Wi-Fi internet specialist, somebody that can design an off-grid system that will have the ability to live stream, uh, run two or three live stream uh, sessions a day or live stream channels. Uh, daily and then be able to upload all of the uh, cons constant uh, tools, tutorials, resources, and videos, everything that we're going to be creating. 
So if you're somebody that uh, that knows somebody that might be a Wi-Fi internet specialist that would want to help us, um, please have them get in contact with us. With uh, us. Additionally, we're um, building a team of engineers. So uh, if you uh, know any engineers that would like to help with the construction of highest good housing and the design and calculations on that, please have them contact us. For the Dubacool City Center, the core team finished the Social Dome Fireplace and South Exit, which is an emergency exit, all that stuff done in 3D. Uh, looks like this. And next we're beginning the library and Social Dome bathrooms. Also, Carl Harris finished redesign of the Dining Dome second floor in CAD, plus a host of other ongoing touch-ups, your screens of that work in progress. Uh, and so these details are all coming together. Uh, this week we also finished the external natural pool details, and now Carl is beginning our elevation sections. And our goal this week is to, we're hoping to finish up the internal pool details and any final CAD correlations with SketchUp so that we can give this all to P2S Engineering to start talking mechanical, electrical, and plumbing specifics. Along with all of that, uh, Rob Jurdy right now is working on pool elevations, the natural swimming pool elevations, open sourcing a natural swimming pool, and those spe specifics, and getting us an updated CAD for that, which is a collaborative effort between Rob Jurdy and then also Meg West and Jennifer Engelmeyer. So that's our update. And the reason why we're addressing all of these things, why we're working on so many different areas simultaneously is because we see all of these areas as not only interconnected, but as interdependent. And, and we believe that if the goal is to truly facilitate large-scale global transformation, to facilitate change on a global scale, to make a difference that will be felt for generations to come, that will redefine the way that we live life right now and change the way that people think about participating, cooperating, collaborating, making a difference, or just living their own lives. If we're really, really going to make a difference in all, in all of those things, then we feel that we need to simultaneously address all of these different areas. And that's the reason why we're working on food. That's the way we're, reason why we're working on housing. That's the reason why we're simultaneously working on energy and education and highest good approaches to society and true earth stewardship and for-profit and non-profit business models. All of these things we see is working together and we believe that addressing any one of them individually is a great approach but to address them simultaneously comprehensively and simultaneously is the world changing approach and that's what we're here to do is to really look at all of these things and then to build the platforms to build the foundations so that people that want to take the elements that we're creating and duplicate them either individually in their own lives or as complete teacher demonstration self-sustainable self-sufficient and self-replicating teacher demonstration communities villages and cities around the world designed as hubs that can then teach others how to also implement these highest good approaches to all these different areas that's why we're putting them all together is for that ultimate goal to demonstrate that and to teach people how to do that and so if what we're doing as i said in the beginning if what we're doing is exciting to you if what we're doing is uh something that you'd like to be a part of if it's something that you would like to to uh, contribute to, then please get involved. There's ways to participate with us that range from becoming part of the core team, the pioneer team, or the satellite member team that's organizing it all and working behind the scenes to bring it all together, to joining our consultants and partners team as somebody that's just helping out, contributing, donating time to different elements, or just helping out through internet participation, joining us in social media, through the social networks, sharing the things that we're doing, all those different areas. Or, of course, the number one way that anybody could help us right now is if you know somebody that could help with the funding aspect of this, we are looking to get the property that we've been working for three years on off the market. We would like to get that property off the market and we're seeking that one person or that group, that organization that can help us to do that. And so if you're somebody that knows somebody or thinks that you know somebody or thinks that you know somebody that knows somebody, by all means, share our project with them. We're looking for a warm introduction for those people that would like to either donate to our 501c3 nonprofit organization or would like to, uh, to invest in one community and creating world change the way that we're doing. So 
with that, I'll say thank you as always for following our project. We love the comments. And uh, until next week, we will keep on keeping on. Have a fantastic week.